had had with his boss in Tokyo. He learned that Carney had worked for both Solomon and Hearst Boston before coming to Killer. Maybe he got in big buyouts when he moved from uh, firm to firm. Maybe he had a rich uncle in the States. Maybe the Malaysian wife he had uh, supposedly met had left him for a fortune on the vampire that he had hunt with the Tokyo with a uh, pension for art, theft and real estate. Malcolm Green uh, got into Ducati engine. He was outskirts of town, passing warehouses, making lots gas stations, uh, convenience stores. He knew that somewhere just outside town was the ancient castle like Harry had told him about when he first arrived at Sakajou, but he still hasn't made the time to check it out. Before the Ducati, his life had been a routine of work, drinking at expert bar and late night backgammon forced on him by care. He hadn't seen much of a sack, but he was getting quite good uh, at the board game. He took the last few turns and saw Carney apartment complex coming up on his right. To his surprise, Sakari was standing outside on the sidewalk. He was dressed for work, white shirt, dark slacks, jacket over his shoulder. But there was a dark look on his face and his cheeks abnormally slack. Malcolm pulled on the stop in front of him, kicking out a boot to steady himself. He put his helmet off and shook the sweat out of his hair. Something happened. Uh, he presumed watching a carry try to get some sense of what it could be. Something happened, Kerry said. And just like of that, the ground disappeared for the first time. His name was Joseph Jett. Malcolm had heard of him. Of course, everyone at Hitler Peabody knew about George Jett. Hell, everyone in the banking world knew about the kid from Kidler Peabody, like uh, Hollywood, uh, Washington, Wall Street, and its extension out across Asia and rest of the world had its star system. The world of high finance revolved around the shining stars of industry, a handful of names who played an entirely different level than the rest who could make decisions with immunity because nobody really understand exactly why they were able to produce like they did. There were the appropriate traders who brought in millions for various firms they worked for, the warlords, which their fiefdoms who were revealed like professional athletes or movie stars. Like athletes, they were bought and trade and eventually trained legend by their less successful colleagues, Nick Leeson, Byron Boy in Singapore, Jim Carney, the biggest player in Tokyo, and George Jett, Kidler genius on the Wall Street.